flames are firing right now. That good stuff is gonna like We are live. <gasps> Exhale, float all the way up, 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 up. Hold. We're gonna jump in this thing right here and send it. Stay tuned. The first step is to pull the cup from the top of the mini presso. Next, unscrew the porta filter. Insert the capsule into the mini presso. Then, screw on the porta filter tightly to pierce the capsule. Make sure the porta filter is as tight as it can go so the mini presso can extract the espresso from the capsule properly. Unscrew the water tank. Fill the water tank with boiling water up to the line. Screw on the water tank. Unlock the piston by twisting it counterclockwise. Pump the mini presso to extract the espresso. Enjoy. Mosquitoes. They can drive you crazy and drive you indoors. Citronella candles and torches don't seem to work. And sprays are just unpleasant. But the Thermacell Lantern surrounds you with a 15-foot zone of scent-free mosquito protection. Don't let our lantern's compact size fool you. Thermacell repellents are the most effective area repellents ever made. Like all Thermacell fuel and mat repellers, the Thermacell Lantern uses a 12-hour fuel cartridge and blue heat-activated repellent mats. To use it, first remove the cap from a fuel cartridge, then thread the cartridge clockwise into place. Slide in the blue repellent mat. Rotate the collar at the top of the lantern to the on position and wait a few seconds. Then rotate the collar to the start position until it clicks. The click creates a spark. It helps to click start several times in quick succession. Finally, check the view window for an orange or blue glow. If you don't see the glow, click start several times again. The heat generated by the fuel cartridge is directed to the mat, activating the repellent. After a few minutes, the heat disperses the repellent, creating a zone of mosquito protection. Each mat lasts up to four hours. When the blue mat turns white, simply replace it with a fresh one. Be sure to place the repeller in the center of the area you want to protect. After a while, if you notice mosquitoes coming back, check for the orange glow in the view window. Check the fuel level and that the mat has some blue color left. The light can be used with or without the repeller. Batteries provide power for the light. The lantern uses three AA batteries that you insert into the base like this. From the backwoods to your backyard, wherever you find the world's toughest mosquitoes, you'll find Thermacell at work.
whether it's your first or your 15th. We'll show you the process of getting the fill, how to properly charge the cap, and best practices for pouring carbonated beverages like a pro. We'll also give you a few helpful tips on how to routinely inspect and clean your U-keg. Before we get to the most important part, enjoying delicious beverages, here are some simple recommendations to get you started. Make sure that your U-keg is clean, free of dust, or any debris left over from previous fills. Start by unthreading the sleeve from the cap. Double check to make sure that the pressure relief plug on the bottom of the sleeve is in place as well. Periodically, you'll want to inspect the cartridge seal on the bottom of the cap. Make sure it has no visual rips or tears and note the orientation when reinstalling it. It's also a good idea to take a look at the cap seal shown here. Now install your food grade CO2 cartridge. Make sure the cap is in the off position and thread the sleeve on quickly and firmly. And now that that's out of the way, let's get this thing filled. Take your U-cake to a brewery or tap room that fill growlers to go. Remove the cap and have the bartender fill your U-keg. Once the U-keg is full, either you or the bartender can screw on the cap. Another thing to note, you don't need to overly tighten the cap in order for it to have a proper seal. It's almost time to enjoy craft beer just as the brewer intended. Sometimes, after getting your UK home or prolonged transporting, the gauge may show higher than desired pressure, even before you've turned up the dial. You can pour off a little beer to relieve this pressure. Then just dial the cap to the pressure you like while looking at the gauge. This can be adjusted as needed to achieve the perfect pour. You're now ready to enjoy fresh, cold, and carbonated beverages anytime. It's always a good idea to lock the tap on your U-keg when you're storing it or transporting it. Once the U-keg is empty, turn off the pressure, slowly unscrew the cap and set it aside. Rinse the U-keg having the tap open with warm water several times. And now, reinstall the cap and use any extra CO2 to force water through the tap to clean it. Then, turn the cap off and drain any extra water that may be left in the U-keg. Set it aside with the tap open to dry. Before unscrewing the cartridge sleeve, always turn on the cap to release any remaining CO2. Then recycle it or dispose of it in the trash. Finally, rinse the cap and sleeve with warm water. Set both aside to dry. Following these simple steps will ensure your U-keg is in tip-top shape and keep you pouring like a pro. Enjoy! Always have the tools you need when you carry the Stansport Emergency Campers Multi-Tool. Individual tools include an axe, hammer, saw, knife, blades, Phillip and flathead screwdrivers, file, pliers, wire cutter, cannon bottle opener, and wrench. This assortment of tools can't be beat and offers peace of mind that you will always be prepared. Whether camping, backpacking, or working in the backyard, the Stansport Emergency Campers Multi-Tool will get every job done. The Sawyer Mini is the most versatile personal filtration system available. It's a perfect solution for backpacking, hiking, hunting, fishing, scouting, international travel, and emergency preparedness. At a mere two ounces, the Mini fits in the palm of your hand and can filter up to 100,000 gallons of water from any freshwater lake, river, or stream. The Sawyer Mini has a 0.1 micron absolute pore size. It was tested to 10 million parts of bacteria and a million parts of protozoa without a single breakthrough. This is the highest level filters can be tested to, so we're confident these are the highest rates of filtration available. 
The Sawyer Mini will remove harmful bacteria and protozoa like Giardia and Cryptosporidium, but it won't remove chemicals or viruses. However, viruses are rarely found in the water in North America and in foreign cities. The Mini can be used the following ways. Attach it to a Sawyer squeeze pouch and drink directly from the filter or dispense into a water bottle. Use it as a personal drinking straw to drink directly from the source or scoop up a bottle of water and drink instantly. The Mini screws directly on the most standard water bottles, which is great for suspect water overseas. Use it inline on a hydration pack. This allows you to fill your hydration pack directly from the source and filter water as you're drinking through the bite valve. Sawyer filters are so robust, they can be backwashed with high pressures and reused over and over again. Cleaning the Sawyer Mini is really simple. You just take the included cleaning plunger and fill it up with some filtered water. Then take the mini and insert the tip of the plunger into the end of the filter opposite of the flow arrow. Then forcefully push the water back through the mini. You repeat this process a couple times until the water comes through clear and easy and you have a clean filter. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. So send us an email to feedback at sawyer.com.